What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to um real quick make a video. First of all, let me say this. I've been kind of sick this week and I've uh, been really busy at work, so I've had kind of a slow week. But I did want to um talk to you guys about the state of the United States. We we're going through some real crises right now and uh I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Right now, we have a president that a lot of people voted for. A lot of people didn't vote for. We have uh, lots of rallies and, and, and protests going on around the country. And I think that protests are healthy. I think it's a, it's covered in our Constitution, your right to assemble. Uh, and it's something that's important to our democracy. Um, but there's something equally as important to the right to assemble, and it's the right of freedom of speech. Uh, it is a constitutional right, something that was given to us, and it's a God-given right to be able to speak our minds. There's something going on right now. It's in the air. I don't know if I'm the only one who can smell it, but it's something really bad afoot around this country. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the UC Berkeley situation. A few few weeks ago, UC Berkeley uh, basically shut down a Milo Yiannopoulos uh, uh, speech. They didn't want Milo to speak. Uh, and they, they, they protested with violence. They're turning over cars and setting fires and smashing windows. You know, anarchists. And Milo was unable to speak. And of course, it was a big fiasco. And since then, you know, a few speakers have gone to UC Berkeley who have been liberal speakers, able to speak their mind on things like immigration. A pro-immigration speaker just came to UC Berkeley and spoke on behalf of the, the good part of immigration. And Ann Coulter was supposed to come, and uh, she was actually unable to. At the last minute, they canceled Ann Coulter from being able to speak, a conservative uh, New York Times bestseller. And um, she was unable to, to speak because of fear of violence, fear of people trying to harm her, the people she was with. This has got to stop. This is a, a pure violation on our freedom of speech. Everyone has a right to be heard. You know, I was having a debate with a coworker yesterday, a guy who I respect. You know, we're the same age group. I respect people in general, but we have completely different opposing points of view on politics. We have opposing points of view on religious ideology, and I'm fine with that. I, I you know, I'm okay with everyone on earth having a different opinion than my own because I'm comfortable enough to have my own opinion, you know? I would never try to stop a person from expressing their own opinion because I feel like my opinions are grounded in my own faith and my own uh, foundation of my life. And so I'm able to combat any type of argument with my own lifetime or my own life events. Things have happened to me. I had a friend at work who didn't want to hear it. You know, we were having a debate. And then once it got to a certain point, my friend at work said, oh, I can't. No, no, no. We, we ain't going to do it no more. No more talking. No more talking. I said, hey, man. You know, if that's how you want it to be, that's fine with me. But this is just proving a point that I can destroy your arguments with conversation and you have no rebuttal for mine. And this is what's happening around the world. We got a, we have a new generation of snowflakes, these millennials. I don't know what's happened to them. I think that I feel like they've been conditioned to be this way, that feelings matter more than rights. What is hate speech? Hate speech is something that everybody's saying now is not covered under the Constitution. It doesn't cover hate speech. Freedom of speech covers especially hate speech. What is hate speech? You know, it's kind of this term that you can, it's kind of like fighting terror. What is terror? What is hate speech? If I say I hate you, that should epitomize what hate speech is, right? That's the most hateful thing you can tell someone. I absolutely hate you. Are you saying that's not covered under the Constitution? Or are you saying that saying things that make people feel bad are not covered under our Constitution? Because if that's what these people are saying, that if you say something that offends someone, then you're going to be shouted down and quieted no matter what, with violence or whatever it takes, then that is war on our First Amendment right of freedom of speech. We need to be able to speak. We need to be able to speak our minds and say what we feel. And the, the great part of freedom of speech is you have the freedom to rebut anyone's argument. If Ann Coulter was saying something at UC Berkeley that was so 
just deadly to our society or so horrible to our democracy, you would feel that there'd be intelligent students there who could come with a decent rebuttal. You can agree to disagree. But this is a very bad thing that I'm seeing that's happening around our country. And I'll say this to the people who side with institutions like UC Berkeley and say, well, hateful speech should be silenced. Okay, let's look at it like this. I was talking to my friend at work. He said, beastly, because everybody calls me that. Do you have a gun? I said, sure, I have a gun. He said, why? I said, because it's to protect my family and my property. He said, man, if we got rid of these guns, we wouldn't have all these these people getting shot. Schools getting shot up and criminals everywhere. They need to just ban them all. And I looked at him and I said, look, if they take all the guns from the legal citizens, first of all, the criminals will keep their own. And then violence will become even worse. But you can be against guns, but you should be, a, you should be for our constitutional rights, whether you're for guns or not. Because there are other rights that some other person who feels a certain way can say you don't deserve anymore. Your freedom of speech, your freedom to assemble, your freedom to illegally be searched and seized. There's someone out there who could argue all these ridiculous points against our freedoms. And there'd be people like you who are against guns or against hate speech who say, sure, we need to get rid of those rights as well. Let's change this whole thing. This is a democracy, guys. That's what this is supposed to be. And when we have our own people in our own country and we have these young people who are supposed to be the next generation of Americans coming up with anti-American ideals, I think it's really we're setting ourselves up for a horrible situation in the future. Fight for your right to say whatever you want to say. Fight for your right to carry your weapon and to be able to protect your family. Fight for your right to not be illegally searched and seized. Fight for your right. Fight for the Constitution. Because that document has kept us free. It really has. It's kept us a liberated people. And uh, I feel like these situations that are happening around the country are really a detriment to the betterment of this country and to us as a whole. We need to fight for something. Stand for it or you'll fall for anything is what they, what they always say. It's just a frustrating situation. I want to give you guys my thoughts on it. I do call these guys snowflakes. If, if a person can say something to you that hurts you so much that you feel like you have to shut them down, then there's something wrong with you. You know? I'm a middle-aged black man. I've heard every kind of degrading thing you could possibly hear in a lifetime. Uh, except for the ones that somebody just wrote in the comments. But I've heard a lot of stuff. And it doesn't bother me. None of this stuff bothers me. you got to have a thick skin. And that's what we should be teaching these younger generations. We shouldn't be giving safe spaces and, and dogs and cats for them to pet. What kind of generation is this? What happened to the real men? Yeah, I said men. I'm, I'm actually using pronouns. Men and women. What happened to the, the real men who were tough and had vigor and didn't care what people said? Now it's a bunch of, I hate to say it, liberal cucks. That's all I see on TV. These people who are just so soft. What happened to the men of old? It doesn't seem like they really exist anymore. This is what happens to a society when you remove its foundation and you try to change history and turn it into his story. And now it's becoming something else. We're teaching our children different alternative facts on history and teaching children the words that you can and can't say and don't be offensive and use this pronoun. We're turning our own American society into a society of cucks and snowflakes. And I gotta say it. The West Coast is just horrible. It really is. It's a very bad place. And, and this is really, if you look at history over the last 30 years, every type of liberal agenda that has come out and has really taken over the country started in California. So when you see this kind of stuff happening in campuses in California, just know it's going to start webbing across the country and more and more people are going to adopt these ideologies. I say fight for your rights. I say stand up to these people who feel like your rights don't matter. If, if someone's shouting you down and telling you not to speak, tell them to shut the fuck up because that's your right to speak. I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I'm happy I had an opportunity. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below about this kind of stuff. Have you been watching what's going on? Me as a father of five and two high school age sons, uh, it's frustrating because I know they're going to be in college soon, and I know that there are lots of activist professors out there who push agendas 
on young and impressionable people. And sometimes those students go out into the world and they push that agenda because that's what they've been taught. You know, teenagers, children, young adults do what they've been taught. They repeat what they've seen. And I think if we have people and professors in these these universities teaching these students, they need to be teaching them American values, not anti-American. And the freedom of speech is something that everybody should fight for because who knows what right they're going to come after next. If you'd like to support my channel, click on the Patreon link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.